Okay, there you have it. I've done a little bit of uh, a little bit of uh, grinding on that bolt, or that nut, screw. Sorry, that screw. I'll get it right. And what I did is I I put the screw in this and tightened it up, and then I took my hacksaw and I sawed a, a good, nice big slot in it so I can get a screwdriver in that and see and then um, that coupled with uh, me taking a 3 8 drill in this and drill it I just drilled it out just very slightly because there isn't a lot of meat there there's only maybe a quarter of an inch or so of threaded material so um, I wanted to do that and you can see the bolt inside there it's not touching anything uh, it's sealed up in there and this is going to sit at the bottom and essentially while this is on here I won't have to take this back off again because it's not fun to seal up and get it right and the seal around here I think a new seal from Bombardier is $12 and it's just an o-ring um, so I will be able to take that out water weighs more than oil be able to drain the water out of it I'll be able to refill it with oil here. I won't have to take the nose cone off. Save me a little bit of time. Also, I can monitor the amount of water coming out. If the water becomes excessive, I know I have a, an actual seal seal problem and I'll have to take it apart and, and fix it. But, uh, you know, the whole thing is I'll be able to monitor this easier, being that I have to do it about three times a season to keep all the water out of it. Probably a lot of people haven't, and they'll end up with uh, drive problems. The shaft will get worn, the needle bearings will get worn, and you'll end up, uh, it'll cost you about $500 to rebuild. Uh, get it all back together, and I'll show you.